So my name is Uri Cohen. I'm originally from Israel and I live in Westport for the last 15 years. I produce and promote music in Westport for, since 2004 and in 2008 I had the vision to create a music festival in town that it's all about the music, uh, concentrating about bringing quality music into town and introduce Westport as a hub place for music for people from all over the country as well as for people from abroad. And after looking for different genre of music, I end up with the idea of creating a bluegrass festival. And although it's a sort of a known story around the bluegrass family, that I actually didn't know anything about bluegrass, I followed that story and uh, this genre of music and fell in love with it uh, completely by coincidence. The first festival that I did was in 2007 and started as a small event in the Shebeen pub with a few more decorations and blousers and uh, now, uh, seven years later, we, the Westport Folk and Bluegrass Festival considered to be one of the main uh, bluegrass festivals in Ireland. When I started, or when we started uh, running this festival, uh, there was small numbers of bluegrass festivals in, in the country now there's over 20 festivals holding the word bluegrass in their title and the Westport one maintained the, his place as one of the main bluegrass festivals in the country competing or sharing the stage with uh, many other festivals both in Ireland and around the world. Do you play anything yourself? Do you play an instrument? No. I used to, my thing is that I DJ, I DJ music completely different, actually my interest is in reggae music, so it's the joke of the, of the bluegrass gang that uh, I'm an Israeli milkman reggae DJ turned into a bluegrass promoter, but it's a title I'm, I'm fairly happy with, and uh, my aim is to again maintain the quality of the music at the festival. And I think that so far we are we managed to do so. Have you many good uh, bluegrass players in Westport itself? Have you any bands in Westport? Yeah, there is actually uh, the two main bluegrass artists in Westport. Is the first is Yubi McEvely and uh, his sister Sarah. That they are the sort of head of the McEvely band. McEvely band that turned to be the Rocky Top String Band. That opening for the last four years they are opening our festival, the official opening of the festival here in the Clue Bay Hotel. And the other sort of main artist of that genre is Tim Rogers, American fellow that moved to Westport or to Lewisburg I should say uh, several years ago. Actually seven years ago when I started the festival so it was much made in heaven. And he is also the leader of the Clue Bay Critters which are sort of at the front of bluegrass music in Westport. How many bands are in for the festival? So we're going to have over 15 different acts uh, and they are answering the title of the festival which is local, national and international. So Tim and his band and with some other people playing a couple of sessions and the Rocky Top String Band aka the McKevys are playing here tonight and joining some other session. And then on the national front, we have the Tin Box, com the Tin Box Company from Dublin, and we're going to have the Molly Hicks from Galway, and we're going to have a band called the Jukebox Gypsy. They're going to play McGinn's, and they are half Irish, Dutch, uh, English, so they're kind of uh, both international and national. And then on the national level, we have some really, really interesting acts. Uh, one of them is Tumbling Bones, American all-time band that came from Portland. The other one is Ronnie Stoneman from Nashville, that she's known as the first lady of banjo in America. She's coming from one of the biggest uh, family dynasties in America, known as the Stoneman family, which is a big, big honor for the festival. And she actually came to, uh, to Ireland for this particular festival and she sort of tied up a few other gigs and a few other friendly visits around our festival so we're taking a great pride of that. And we have a band from England called Kidnap Alice which are now pretty much the hottest name in the, the UK bluegrass scene. 
And then our headline act is a band called the Bluegrass Boogeyman from Holland, which are supposed to say the best bluegrass band in all of Europe. And that's actually their second visit to Westport. They've been here before in 2009. So it should be a good event. Uh, without a doubt. We are now really uh, in the same level of any other bluegrass festival, both in Ireland and in the world. And uh, we are very, very proud of that fact. One more than upward. Big time. And this is seven years. We, we, just to put things in perspective, our first year was the number one bluegrass band in Ireland called the Lee Valley String Band. In the second year, we brought top bluegrass band from Europe called Four Wheel Drive. Then we had the Boogeyman again, and then we had two or three top, top bluegrass band from England. And then we added the sort of American side of things. We had some bands from America last year. We also had a band from Canada. So the quality is improving without, without um, dampening the quality of any of the other bands that were here before. We're definitely moving forward. Is this event self-financing or do you have to get support? Uh, we're getting support from both Mayo and Westport C Town Council. We, for the last couple of years, we get support from the National Arts Council, which is obviously great pride because it means that they believe in what we're doing. There's few small businesses in Westport that give a small amount of money, but obviously they're helping us. And the other important thing is that all the venues that take part, namely the Jester, McGinn's, Cobblers, the Wyatt, Obviously, the Clue Bay Hotel and the Atlantic Coast, and this year, uh, Matt Malloy's, they all contributing towards their acts that performing in their venues.